Hi there, welcome to Quick Schools. In this video, we're going to go over the parent portal. The parent portal has one module called the home page, and it has the My Profile link on the top right corner next to the log off link. Let's look at the My Profile page real quick. The My Profile page just allows you, the user, to change some basic parameters like your name, phone number, email address, your image as well as a theme so you can if you don't like the melon theme which is selected by default you can change it to let's say to eggplant and this is what it looks like let's go back to the home page so the home page uh, we like to call this the dashboard it has basically three areas we have a list of events that are posted by the school we have on the right hand side a live feed and the live feed will contain uh, news items that are related to the students linked to this account and on the lower left corner are the list of students that are linked to this account so here we have Dave Green and Vincent Green you may have more than one student if you click on a student then that brings up um, the student information these windows are draggable all you need to do is click and drag the title it's arranged by tabs so if you click on the individual tabs you'll see details uh, regarding that uh, specific area you may have less or more tabs than what's shown here uh, it depends on what the school administrator has activated for your school so here we have disciplinary records attendance homework fees, report cards, and gradebook entries. So you can select a term. So it doesn't have to be for the current term. It could be for a previous term. You can click on view details to see specific items related to a subject. And that's pretty much it. We're now logged in as the school administrator and here we're going to demonstrate how to turn on and configure the parent portal. We'll start with going to the features page and turning on the feature. So next to parent portal, we'll check the box. You'll see that parent portal appears here. If you want other users to have access to invite parents, you just need to add them here as well under parent portal select users who will manage parent invitations so I'll save this for now and when you go to parent portal we have two sub menus the first is a dashboard this shows a summary of who of how many parents have been invited and how many have not if you click on start inviting parents now all it does really is it goes to the next tab called invite so in this section there's an email that gets sent out. You can change portions of this email by uh, typing in you know, your text here and here. The parts that can't be changed will be generated by the system. And down below we have a list of parents. You can view specific parents here. We have all 13 parents or we can just view the uninvited parents here. Uh, some students will have email addresses all you need to do is click on invite some do not have an email address and all you need to do is click on set email address and invite type in the email address and click save and invite and that will send the invitation that we've set here so how do we set up parents for individual students so for that portion all you need to do is go to the students tab click on a student and there is a tab called parents now we call it the parent portal because for k-12 the guardians are usually parents but they don't really have to be parents you'll see here if we add a new parent or guardian we have a drop down for relationship it could be father mother stepfather stepmother relative agent others you could technically uh, put in the student's name here the student's email address and then the student 
can actually log in uh, themselves to view their own records. Uh, note here, if you notice in the earlier part of the uh, video, one parent uh, account can be linked to multiple students and to link multiple students you use these this add siblings so here we have um, this student is Bill Crimson and if he's related to any of these any of these other students I just need to select uh, say Russell Peters what will happen is it'll pull the parent information from Russell Peters and it'll share them okay so if I log in uh, using Mr. Crimson, I will not only see Bill Crimson's uh, student record, but I will also see Russell Peters' uh, student record. So let's just cancel that for now. And that's pretty much it. You add the parent information here in the parent tab. Once it's been added, you go to the parent portal um, module, set the email uh, content, and invite away either individually or you can use the checkbox and click the invite selected emails button last thing I'd like to show you is the reports so if you click on reports there are a few reports available to you if you are the school administrator by default you can view all reports for all modules that are activated. So here we have the parent portal reports. It has two formats. Let's click on uh, parent portal logins by uh, parent. So this opens a new tab. Um, this is an HTML report. You can print this using your file menu on the browser. Uh, here we see a list of all the parents, their relationship, their email address, and when they last logged in. Okay, if you want to change the format, just change the report variation here. Click change, and that will change the format as well. So here we have students, parents, relationship, email address, and when was the last time they logged in. And, and that is the report so again if you want to you, as, like I said the student the school administrator has access to all reports but if you want certain people to have access to the parent portal reports all you need to do is go to the features page uh, click on configure uh, next to the feature and right at the bottom it says select who can run reports you can select any of your users and whoever, is, whoever, whoever appears in this section will be able to run the parent portal report we just saw. If you have any questions, feel free to speak with us on the live chat on the lower right corner of your screen, or you can send an email to support at quickschools.com. Thank you.